Science! With Mr. Jaffe. Hi. I'm just taking care of my cactus today up on the roof. I'm starting to get really hungry. I'd better put it down and go to the video science garden to get some vegetables to eat. Oh no, it looks like someone else already had the same idea. Something is eating these plants right on this kale. Let's take a look and see what we have here. Do you know what animal this is? Can you tell me what you see? How many legs does it have? If you said it's a caterpillar, you are correct. Let's get a closer look at this caterpillar. Now you know that caterpillars become butterflies and moths when they grow up. What are some of the things that caterpillars do? Well, let's take a closer look. We can see that this caterpillar has got a head, it's got jaws, that's what's helping it chew all the plants, and it's got six legs. If you look really close, you can see six legs right underneath the jaws, which are opening and shutting right now. And the caterpillar is going to need to do things that living things need to do. What do living things need to do to survive? This bright green color is gonna help the caterpillar stay hidden when it's munching away on all the plants. And why do caterpillars need to eat so much? Well, living things, as you know, need to eat, breathe air, drink water, and also hide from things that want to eat them. Well, the green color is going to help the caterpillar avoid being eaten because it looks the same color as the leaves. And when the caterpillar eats enough, it can eventually transform into a butterfly or a moth. Now this caterpillar eats almost any kind of fruit or vegetable that it can find, but some caterpillars, which you'll learn about later, may eat only one kind of plant. Many caterpillars may look soft and squishy, but they are insects, and they definitely have an exoskeleton. Take a look at those hard legs and those powerful munching jaws, perfect for taking bites of those kale leaves. The caterpillar is getting everything it needs from the plant. The leaves have water, sugar, and lots of nutrients, but you know that about vegetables. The sugar in plants even helps the caterpillar develop a tough exoskeleton. Let's look at the butterfly life cycle. The monarch butterfly lays its eggs on the underside of the leaf of the milkweed plant. And then, the caterpillar hatches out. This newly hatched monarch caterpillar is eating its own eggshell. Now it's starting to look more like the striped monarch caterpillar we know. But then, it's time to form a chrysalis around itself and get ready for metamorphosis. The adult butterfly emerges, but those wings aren't ready for flying yet. First, they must dry. The adult butterfly will need to eat lots of nectar from flowers to get the energy it needs to take to the summer skies. I'm going to go downstairs and make something else to eat. It looks like these caterpillars have already got this place covered. Keep eating. See you later, friends. Thanks for watching.
See you next time. Scrambles, do you like science?